Let's take a look at the new public map tool. In this example, I've got a layer that I want to publish on my website. As you can see in this example, it's a map of roads that we're going to close in order to improve safety for cyclists and pedestrians. So let's go and create a public map. And to do that, I'm going to go into the admin panel. And then on the left hand side, click public maps. It will show you a list of any you've already created, but I'm going to click on the plus button which is going to allow me to add a new public map. Now this dialogue guides us through creating our public map, and the first thing I'm going to do is select a base map. And for this, because I want to show quite a detailed view, I'm going to select the detailed mapping from the PSGA data, and click Next. And now you're shown a list of your layers. Clicking on your layers will move them over to the right hand side, and those will be the layers that will be included in your map. In this example, I'm going to click that one road closures for cars layer. It moves it over to the right hand side, and then I'm going to click next. I've now got the ability to add other layers that aren't owned by me. So I can include addresses, ancient woodland, flood zones, anything else that would help the reader of the map. I'm going to leave this step for now because I want a nice clean map. So I'm going to click next. And now I'm going to choose my start location. So by default it chooses the extent of your parish, but you can adjust that. And I'm going to zoom in to where my road closures are. And then click next. I've now got a few other options. So I can give my map a title, and this will help me when I'm looking at it in the list later on. I'll be able to easily see which one's which. I've also got some tools options. I can have a layer control. I can choose whether the users are allowed to click on the objects to see any information, and I can choose whether there's a postcode search included. And on the right hand side, I can choose which layers are switched on by default. I'm going to leave the settings as they are, and click save. And that's done. Once you've created your public map, you'll see it's automatically created a URL and some embeddable code. There's also a preview tab so you can see what your public map is going to look like. And if I want to make any adjustments, I can click on the public map in the list, click on the edit icon, and then move through the stages to get to the settings I want to change. Now I'm going to copy the code to the clipboard so I can use this to paste into my website later. OK, now it's really difficult to show you how it would work in your website, so I'm just going to show you an example of how we would add it into our website, and many of the concepts will be similar. So I've got this new page which is parishonline.co.uk forward slash public map, and you can see I haven't got a map in there yet. So I'm going to go to my website configuration, and again yours will look different to this, but similar concepts. And I'm going to find the option where I can put raw HTML into the website. This may also be called custom HTML in your configuration. And I can just drag and drop this into the web page where I want it. And now all I do is paste that code that I copied earlier into this page. And when I click Apply, it shows me a preview. And if I save that, I can go back to my web page and refresh. And it will show me the map on that page. Now there are a few ways you can control the shape of the map, and you can do that using the height and the width settings in that code. So I can just make the height smaller if I want to. Which obviously doesn't work very well, so I'm going to make it bigger again. And find a suitable size.
OK, now we've got a great looking map on our website. Now we appreciate that your website will have different configuration to ours, so we've put some tutorials on our knowledge base, which hopefully will help you. And obviously there are web developers out there who will be able to easily take the code that's produced in a public map and put it on the website for you. We look forward to seeing you create some great looking maps.